Right guys, so the next question we're going to do is another surface development question and this time it's just on a uh, pipe work. And what it says is the graphic shows a plastic pipe which incorporates two cylindrical sections. So we can see the top bit here, the bottom bit down here, the top bit here labeled A. Complete the given projections and draw the surface development of the slope section A. So we're going to have to do uh, a surface development of this section here, A, not the bottom bit, but we also have to complete the plan view down here. Now, to be able to complete the plan view, we're actually going to need uh, to create uh, an auxiliary view showing the true projections of this face here, if we were to look straight at it, as in we're looking straight at it down in that direction, and that will generate a circle. We split it up so that we can get the generators. And then with the generators, then we should be able to get the, the cut section here and develop it down here, into this section here, or draw it down here, I should say. Okay, so first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up an X1, Y1, um, perpendicular to the center line. So next one, Y1 like that, and then get the, uh, split it up into 30, 60 degrees, and then get all my generators. Okay. I'm not sure what angle this works out at. It's not exactly 60 degrees, so I'm going to use slightly set squares. Okay. And if I just look out a little bit further along that, I'll be able to get it centered in. So, if we project from the elevation, we take our depths from the plan. So what I'm going to do now is take my depths from the plan. So from the X, Y line down to the middle, just to mark my center, right there. There's my center. And then with that, I'm going to use, obviously, my radius because it's going to have the same radius as this. Here we go. Now, at that point there, what we are actually going to do now is we're going to split it up into 30, 60. So, set up my 45 degrees on it just to get a base. Okay. Now at this point, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to label it because if we imagine we were looking straight down at it in this direction, we do see the circle up here, so we do. That's the shape we're going to see. And at the smallest part, my generator here, I'm going to label that number one. And so on, all the way around it. So then two, three, and so on. Okay. Now, if I projected up those generators, now what I also have to do is I need to project them down. So here was one, then obviously two and 12 would be the same, and so on. Three and 11. There's two and 12. Three and 11. We have the one in the middle already. I'll just bring it down a bit further. Got five and nine, and then six and eight. Okay, once again, label those generators. So I have one, uh, what's here at the front? We obviously have 12, 11, uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, back to one, and they're going all the way down along here as well. Okay, 
Now what we have to do is, if we have that broken up, now we want to get it in plan down here. And to be able to get that in plan, it's easy enough. We just have to project it down. So, my seven generator, or my seven point I should say, which is there, six and eight and so on, I'm going to bring all of them down at once. Okay, now this point here can get, I suppose, a touch confusing. But if we take, that's our middle line there. And that's going to be our axis. And straight away, I've actually got some points on it already. I actually have the seven, because if you think the seven here was in the middle where the one was. So I already have the seven and the one. There's my one, and there's my seven. Now, the case is, how would I find my two... How would I find my 12, the 3, and so on, all the way around to the 6? I actually have two more points there, sorry. I also have uh, number 4 and number 10. So it's going to go something like that. We're going to see an ellipse, basically. And if I was to take my measurements for it, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to measure up from the middle. And that measurement there from zero to, or from the axis, from the middle of it, from there to there, is the same as from here up to here up to the top of it. So if I wanted to take the measurement for 3 or 2, so 2 would be the same as 12, 3 would be the same as 11, I'm just going to measure from the middle. So from the middle, 2, 3, which is going to be the same as from the middle to 11, the middle to 5, the middle to 9. So what I'll do is mark that here, because that's on there, here, there and there and then I'll do the same from the middle to 2 which is the same as 12 8 and 6 and just follow it down I have to extend a few of my lines just a little bit okay just extend a few of my lines to get the exact marks where they go through this one here and there we go now located point 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 and once again just labels two three four so on And at this point, freehand the curve. Actually should be heavy there as well. So it should because we would see this section here running along it, so we would. And I'll just leave it for now. Okay. Okay, 
First part of the question, obviously, there done now. We have the plan completed by taking an auxiliary view up here. Now what we have to do is we have to do the surface development of this section A. And once again, this all comes down to our generators and our true lengths. So if we just look at our one here, our one generator that was running down along here, from this point here to this point, that's a true length. The reason that is a true length is because that point there, which is down here, to one, that generator, that, that line there, that distance, which is obviously a... Sorry, it is par or is parallel to the XY line. That means it is parallel to one of the principal planes. And if it is parallel in one view, it means that that line there, I'm just going to heavy that in from there to there. That is my generator from here to here. It's still a generator down here, but the relationship between that line there and this line is that they are parallel, which means that in this view here, we have a true length. That means it's the same, obviously, for 2 and 12. That generator there would actually be going in this direction like that there and that would match up to this that is also obviously up here in elevation another true length so what we need to do now is we need to see that look along that true length in this direction we need to actually look in that direction there and bring it out so to be able to do that sliding set squares and what we are going to do then is just line it up there develop out our section, our surface. So, parallel with that, rotate. I'm going to take the shortest edge first, which is the one. And just to give me a start point, I'm going to have a start right here. And that's my one, so straight away I can actually heavy in that. And that's my as I said, my one. Now, what we have to do after that is we are going to develop it out. So, I'm going to take this here, a distance of one of my segments from 10 to 11, it doesn't matter, it's the same as 11 to 12, 12 to 1, and I'm going to step it out from 1 until it goes all the way back around until it gets back to 1, 1 to 12, back to 1. So, step it out, it's going to be 2, Go. just enough room so once again now at this point what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to complete all my generators I'll extend that down just a little bit there and I'm going to start putting in all my generators so generator there Bring them out a little bit further because I know I'm going to need them. There we go. Now, what I can actually do at this point is if that's one. This will be two, three, and so on. Back to one. You can heavy in that little bit there. And now it's a case of finding the rest of these points. Now, just remember, if this was one, down here was also one, this will be uh, 12, and I'll just label it going on the inside, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 8, 9, 10, 11, and we have 12. So same thing, have to project up all these points now as well to be able to complete it. Okay, so to be able to do that, slide and set squares again. So my next point here would be 2 and 12. There, then I have 3 and 11, and so on.
Okay, at those points. Two. and sketch it in. There we go. That is the complete surface development of the cylindrical part of the pipe here of A. Question complete.